It's a world famous and iconic part of New Zealand. 90 Mile Beach near Ahipara is a destination that attracts thousands of tourists every year to experience driving along the beach. Northland is a unique area of New Zealand where the ocean plays a big part in most activities and fishing is part of everyday life. The sprawling white sanded 90 mile beach also acts as a marine playground for kite surfers and the like. It provides the backdrop of our course tour stop where we pay visit to the stunning links of the Kaitaia Golf Club. It's a unique course that has its own distinct history. Originated in 1921 when they opened up and they had two courses in Kaitaia which proved unsatisfactory for the, because of the hard pan underneath and it was very wet in winter. So um, they decided to come out here to Ahipara and in 1964 they moved out here and, and there was a guy, Goldie Wardell, who was a course manager in those days. Well, he designed the course and he did a very fine job in to making what the course is now. The history of the Kai Tai Golf Club is still evident today with the families at the club. We sort of used to own this land about, um, yeah, quite a long time ago, sort of grandfather and all that. I've been sort of around this area for quite a while and my, I've been told about it and how it sort of functions, all that, how it was built. It made it a good golf course challenge. Another talented local amateur is Robert Lee. He's a proud member. I've been here all my life and uh, I've known Qatar is quite known throughout New Zealand and hopefully throughout the world. And it's a great place, it's a great golf course and we have lovely people and I just love being here. Brett Dormer is the course record holder at Kaitaia off the white and blue tees. He loves his new home course. Well, special about this place is uh, just the layout, how it's been carved out of the land and uh, it's not manufactured or anything. We've got the sea in the background and uh, you've got to see it to believe it really, it's magical. With breathtaking views of the neighbouring 90 mile beach, the links at Ahipara is set on an amazing piece of land. But don't be fooled, this course is no pushover. Have to do it quite straight. Keep it in play, yeah, don't spray it, whatever you do. <laughs> you know, I enjoy the links uh, layout, eh? it's how golf should be played. Like, contend with the wind and all the conditions. Yeah, they think, oh, it's not a very hard course, and then once they finish the 18 holes, <laughs> they say it's one of the toughest courses they've ever played on. And that's really, a, it's a good achievement for this club. It just shows how, how our club stacks up against the rest of the clubs in New Zealand. We begin the course tour at Kaitaia on a difficult par four into the wind. Yeah, we've got a demanding tee shot here at the fourth. Uh, got to hit it for a narrow gap off the tee. You can't hit it too high off the tee, got to keep it nice low. And uh, somewhere in the middle of the fairway is good. Left or right's real bad, especially if you go right. Yeah. Tough second shot, you've got to keep it low. Uh, probably from 130, 140 out. Uh, and if you miss the green either side, it falls away or short, comes back down the bottom. So it's elevated green and quite a tough second shot, which also slopes away from front to back. The fourth is the beginning of the magnificent views at Kaitaia, and also where the golf gets tough in the wind. But you wouldn't know it as Brett makes a fine birdie on the fourth to begin the day well. Up next, one of the signature holes of the layout. Uh, here we are on the fifth tee, par five. Uh, it's a very challenging tee shot. Unbelievable background. You have the mountain, Mount Whangatotea, and the 90 mile beach. If you're into the wind, it's quite long, 470 metres. Uh, if you miss it to the right, you go onto the beach, and to the left, it's not very good as well. Uh, straight down the middle with a little draw, and you'll be perfect. Uh, second shot, you probably just want to lay up, lay up to a nice chip, or you can go to the green. However, into the wind, it's quite difficult and you just want to take a par and head off to the next hole. A good par into the wind for Robert. It's time for Sean now to play the sixth. Here we are at the six. It's a short par three. It's about 1.15 uh, playing into the wind today. It's normally pretty easy when it's flat, but it's not today. Uh, today I got five iron in my hand and considering normally I'd hit about pitching wedge, so it's quite windy. There are two pot bunkers to look out for. Yeah, they're horrible. You don't really want to go in those. Most of the time you'll plug when you go in those, even though they're quite dry. And long is also a no-no as well when the pin's at the back. Sean missed the pot bunkers, but came up just short with his birdie try. Still pars a good score when the wind's blowing. 
Well, time now for some local seafood. We were treated to a feast of power in cream, kingfish, and tua tua fritters for lunch as the locals extended some hospitality. It's an honour to be part of this golf club, and there's great members, old and young, and everybody's just nice and happy. And that sums up the club atmosphere at Kaitaia, like many small clubs around New Zealand. Now it's back to the action at the seventh. Uh, seventh hole today, uh, it's a little bit windy. Uh, it's playing uh, about 360. Uh, one of the tough, tougher driving holes on the course, real narrow fairway. And it's quite long too. There's a lot of sand to the left and right of the uh, fairway, uh, especially on the big hill on the left hand side. That's you always you got to get lucky to get a good lie in there. And on the right side, it's either in some sand or what's out of bounds. Out of bounds is quite close on the right side. One of the best sort of scenic areas around. I definitely love coming out here every time, especially to play these holes. Brett is safely on the seventh and sets up another birdie chance on these greens that, in true Lynx style, really are a feature of the layout. Brett Dormer holds the course record of 64 off the whites. Last of all, the boys are keen to battle it out with a contest on the 18th. Welcome to the 18th hole. It's a drivable, drivable par four. Uh, 295 metres. Uh, we're into the wind today, so we may not make it. Um, I'm having a competition with the rest of the boys and see who takes it out. All of the boys get their tee shots away down the middle on the short par four that's decided many contests. Up at the green and they all have par chances, but the teenagers miss, whereas Brett Dormer comes up with the goods and earns the right to sign off our visit to Kaitaia. Uh, sweet. Oh, thanks, boys. Cheers, mate. Thanks, Brett. Cheers, Rob. Cheers, Rob. And there we go, there's our tour of uh, Kaitaia Golf Club. Hope you guys have enjoyed this uh, fabulous links out here. Um, visitors are more than welcome to come and, uh, come and enjoy this fabulous links. Here's the view, thanks. Kai Tire is affordable to play. It's only $30 for all golfers.